My Immortal, Chapter 17 Author's Note I said stop flimming destroyo. If for a prep, then do not read it. You can tell weeder er a prep or not by my quiz. It's on my home page. If or not, then you roke. If you are, then fook off. PZ, uh, Piz Willow isn't really a prep. Raven, please do this. I'll promise to give you back er poster. <sighs> Tom Riddle gave us some clothes and stuff for free. He said he would help us with makeup if he wanted, cause he was really into fashion and stuff. He's bisexual. Hargard kept shooting at us to come back to Hogwarts. W- <laughs> WTF, Hargrid? I shouted angrily. Fuck off, you fajucking bastard. Well, anyway, Willow came. Hargard went away angrily. Hey, bitch, you look kawaii, she said. Yeah, but not as kawaii as you. I answered sadly because Willow's really pretty and everything. She was wearing a short black corset thingy with blood-red lace on it and a black blood-red miniskirt, leather fishnets, and black pointy boots that showed off how pale she was. She had a really nice body with big bobs and everything. She was thin enough to be anorexic. Well, that's not good. So... Are you going to the concert with Draco? She asked. Yeah, I don't remember the voice. Yeah, I said happily. I'm gong with Diabolo. She answered happily. Well, anyway, Draco and Diabolo came. They were both locking extremely hot and sexy, and you could tell they thoughted we were ought to. Diabolo was wearing a black t-shirt that said 666 on it. He was wearing tons off makeup, just like Marilyn Manson. Draco was wearing black leather pants, a gothic black GC t-shirt, and black vans he got from Dwarf Tower. <laughs> Bloody Mart... <laughs> was going to the concert with Dracola. <laughs> it sounds delicious. <laughs> Dracola used to be called Navel. <laughs> I got this. Dracola... <laughs> 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 Dracola used to be called Naval, but it tuned out that he was kidnapped at birth and his real family were vampires. They died, no, in a car crash. Naval converted to Satanism and he went goth. He was in Slytherin now. He was wearing a black, warped t-shirt, black jeans and shoes, and black hair with red streaks in it. We call him Dracula now. Well, anyway, we all went to Draco's Black Mercy Bins. Get it? Because we're gpific. That his dad, Lucian, gave him. We did pot, coke, and crack. Draco and I made out. 
We made fun of dose stupid fucan preps. We soon got there. I gasped. Gerard was the sexiest guy, Eva. He locked even sexier than he did in pics. He had long raven black hair and piercing blue eyes. He was really skinny, and he had an amazing ethnic voice. What? We moshed to Helena and some otter songs. Suddenly, Gerard pulled off his mask. So did the other members. I gasped. It wasn't Gerard at all. It was an ugly, preppy man with no nose and red eyes. Everyone ran away but me and Draco. Draco and I came. It was... Vladimort and the Death Dealers. You moronic idiots! He shooted angstily. And Obi, I told you to kill Vampire! Thou have failed, and now... I shall kill thou and Draco! No, no, please. We begged sadly, but he took out his knife. Suddenly, a gothic old man flew no, in on his broomstick. He had... <laughs> He had long black hair and a long black bread. Hmm. He was wearing a black robe that said Avril Lavigne on the back. He shot at a spell and Vladimort ran away. It was... Dumbledore. Thank you.